Hello, welcome to Woodfired Weekly. Next week, 7th of July, is National Chocolate Day, and to celebrate that, we are going to be cooking Mole Poblano. We're going to be doing it in the Morso Forno. Mole Poblano is this lovely, rich, dark sauce with nuts and chocolate and chili and fruitiness uh, used in Mexico, usually poured over turkey or, or chicken. We're going to do it today with some pork chops, just as a as a point of difference. But the really unique thing about this is the addition of chocolate. Some nice dark bitter chocolate is what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna start off with a pan of oil and just soften some onions and garlic. We've already got the pan nice and hot, so we've got a sizzle on straight away. Those have just started to soften. So now I'm going to add some spices. Lots of lovely spices. Here we've got cloves and cinnamon, pepper, coriander, aniseed, oregano, uh, some, some smoky chipotle chili there. Don't need to remember all this because we will link to the recipe. Also here I've soaked some ancho chilies. So ancho are dried poblano chilies. These are going to add sort of sweetness, mild flavour, where the chipotle chilies are going to add a little bit of heat and smokiness. Chipotles are smoked jalapeno peppers. Stir that and just a minute or two to cook those spices. Spices have had a couple of minutes. And now we're going to add tomato, some almonds, peanut butter, could be toasted peanuts, blitzed up a little bit if you have that, but peanut butter will do fine. More fruit, raisins this time, and then tablespoon and a half of cocoa along with some water. Now we're just going to cook all of this, let this come up and, and simmer and cook a little bit, let the fruit swell up, let the tomato cook. Once it's, it's all cooked down and broken down nicely, we'll blitz it up to make our sauce. Our sauce has had about 10 minutes. Simmering away nicely in there. The tomato has softened, the fruit has all swe swollen up. Everything is nicely cooked. And this is now going to be taken away, blitzed up, and then we'll bring it back and just reheat it when we, when we need it. For the next bit, I'm going to heat up a Tuscan grill. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Tuscan grill. Nice solid uh, cast iron plate on legs so that we can bring fire underneath there or bring embers underneath there and grill over the top. So that's nicely warmed up. Now all of that wood is burned down. I'm going to keep a little bit of fire going in the, in the side, just a, a little bit, but I shouldn't need very much because most of the cooking now will be done by the Tuscan grill and by those embers underneath. Those chops are going to sit directly over the embers, but they are going to get a bit of heat from the oven as well. So they're going to be roasting and grilling at the same time. Meanwhile, my sauce has been blitzed up. So that's smoothish, not, not absolutely smooth because we've got all those nuts in there and the peanut butter and everything. So that keeps it kind of a little bit crunchy. Uh, so I'm going to reheat my pan and then just warm the sauce up when we're ready. So our chops are almost done, and I'm gonna start warming through the sauce. Everything in there should be cooked. I've tasted it, added a little bit of salt. It was a tiny bit fiery, so I added a tiny bit of sugar. The pork is rested, the sauce is steaming hot, so we're just gonna marry the two together. 
and that's the dish finished and this is exactly how I saw it served in in Mexico with a thick thick layer of of sauce so there are pork chops in a mole poblano sauce just in time for National Chocolate Day next week an intriguing mix of spices and, and fruit and, and deliciousness thank you for watching Woodfired Weekly we'll be back next week with another recipe if you've enjoyed this please subscribe to the channel we'll put a link down below and that'll take you to our blog where we'll put the recipe and you can recreate this yourself in your own oven we'd love to see photographs of that if you do try it and please feel free to comment thanks very much <laughs>